Who would think that from September 2010 to June 2012 would feel like maybe three months? Okay, maybe seven months, max. And I've been here for two years. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like I just got here maybe a few months ago and just started classes and just started meeting everyone. It's been so long. So this is episode 5? Yeah, episode 5, day 14. Countdown to Graduation on Blue Raven. And this is series 3. So there's going to be another honorable Blue Raven mention today. It's our own highly intelligent Juan Julio Hernandez. No one knew that there was somebody of a, from Mexico in our program, but, but, but he's there. He, he just... It's hard for me to think of like how to, de to describe him. I'm getting nervous again, because... I just, I just feel awkward praising people, and this is just like, this is somebody that I really admire, I would like to, I wish I could be as, as skillful as this person is, eloquent, verbally eloquent, and academically eloquent, but we all have somebody that we want to be like, and some people idolize celebrities, uh, some people idolize athletes or whatever the crap, but I idolize real people, just people that you can find every day that do amazing things and are amazing people. Julio Hernandez. So, this is a person that, their personality is so dynamic, they can go from long gal intensity to Blue Raven idiocy just instantly and you're just like did he really just say that? he was just serious like half of a second ago and then he goes right back to serious and then man but he, he gets work done what is the that saying that people say I do work or I something like I don't forget what they say I don't know what the cool people say anymore but that's that and he told me a little bit about his past, and I'm, I'm not going to share it, he can share it if he wants. But it was so shocking that, that it wasn't, he wasn't these, this academic genius that he is now, when he was younger. I'm not going into any details, but it's just a huge transformation, and I think everyone should, should hear that story. So ask him, or maybe don't ask him, don't bother him. But the, that's inspiring. That's this how somebody can change for the better. They, how someone can just decide how humans have the willpower to improve themselves and make a conscious effort to become great. It's just not. It's not just becoming. He just didn't become good. He didn't become above average. He just became great, and that's. That's something that I was like, I can do that. That's why he's my idol. Because it's like, it's something that you can do, that you haven't done, that you know you can do, but it's, it's kind of like a, a circular thing. It's like, you know you can do it. You saw someone else do it. Well, not see him, but you heard their story and all that amazingness. And so it's like inspires you to want to do it. So, one of these days, I'm going to, to open up the newspaper and be like, first man in history to buy a country. And then I'll be like, why would anyone want to buy a country? Why would anyone want to buy a country? And why did I just drop my newspaper? Julio Hernandez just bought Madagascar. I'm like, oh, okay. Out of anyone, I would think he would be able to just manage a whole country 
he has that kind of business aptitude to just take a country and make it prosper. So, you know, for the people that don't know him as Julio Hernandez, Gurmeet Carbondo is who I'm talking about. Mr. Amazing. So, this video is way too long. So I'm cutting it now. I could probably talk for 10 more minutes, but I'm not going to. But I do have a secret to tell you. Valentine's Day, the uh, gift that was given to you from Question Mark, that was from me. Man Crush. Anna tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, eh Macarena.